Can you believe it? Final Cut Pro 10.8 just gets released and we're already experiencing a few bugs. There are two that have been reported uh, across X that I have heard of. I reported one of them and then somebody corroborated in a reply to another tweet that I made. I'm sorry, another post that I made on X. And then a few people have been posting about the first bug that I'm gonna talk about, which has to do with audio skimming. Apparently, if we look at Final Cut Pro 10.8, newly and fresh as of yesterday, there's in the audio skimming, which this is a feature I don't use. It let, lets you hear uh, the audio that's playing back and like sped up or slowed down, all that kind of stuff. I don't really like to do that, but a lot of people that are doing fine audio adjustments with dialogue or even sometimes with music, I used to do this when I edited concert content, they need to hear every little bit of sound. Well, now when you're using the arrow keys, and this is at least my understanding of what the bug report is, you're not hearing any of the audio when you arrow over the playhead with uh, the arrow keys. But if you move the playhead, you can hear it. So with the arrow keys, you're supposed, to hear, uh, 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 you're supposed to hear all the audio, but it's not playing back. So this may be a bug with 10.8 that needs to get fixed. The second bug is a much bigger bug, and it's affecting me across two computers, but not a third computer. So my Mac Studio, my 14-inch MacBook Pro, but not my Mac Mini. These two computers are affected by this bug, and then someone else on X reported the same bug as well. So the easiest way to bring this up, and I'm gonna turn off audio skimming because I can't stand it. I've got a text graphic here, right? And normally you can click on it, and then you can go up to the viewer, and you can double click it to change the text. Well, when I do that, it doesn't crash Final Cut, but it freezes. It doesn't create a rainbow spinning wheel like it would if the um, application was hanging normally. And then if I come down here and right click on the Final Cut Pro um, application, I do see that an application not responding issue comes up. Now, when I was editing the video I just released, this came up a few times as I discovered the bug. And if I waited maybe three or four minutes, it would sort of resolve itself. Like it was getting hung up with some kind of computation and it would just bog everything down. You can't really do anything um, in the Final Cut UI, but you can access your dock, you can go to other apps, the app switcher still works, all of that stuff, um, but you're just not able to do anything in Final Cut. So when I would stumble into something where I was manipulating something in the viewer, I would have to force quit Final Cut to bring it back up. So I'll show you a few more things that are causing this issue. If you want to say, put a, a mask on on your clip. Let's say we want to put the draw mask effect on. I was doing this because I was doing some color grading and just wanted to check skin tones real quick. And I put that effect on. Here we've got draw mask, right? You can put your first drop, uh, your first node down. But, oh, is it actually? Oh, I got two this time. <laughs> the last time I only got one. All right, so it's working to do a mask kind of I'm, I'm trying to undo right now and it won't let me undo this is farther along than i got before last time i was able to drop just one node and you can see the application is frozen right now so i can't do anything the draw mask effect i can't delete it i'm not getting any skimming i'm not getting anything going on there and then i'll show you when i relaunch here i'm able to um i'm not able to do any transforms on any footage but I am able to do it in the inspector. So if I want to record, if I want to move this clip around, I can do it with the X, Y coordinates no problem here in the inspector. The minute I do Shift T and want to do this, then it freezes. Now, if I use my monogram video console and use my preset sort of scale all dial, I can do that no problem too. So the video console working with command post does all of my scales, rotations, all of that stuff no problem because it's manipulating this information in the inspector. But if you actually go to click on the user interface in the viewer to try to manipulate the scale of something, to try to change the text on a title, to try to mess around with a mask, it freezes the computer, or I'm sorry, it freezes Final Cut Pro and you can't do anything. What I want to have happen is I want this video to, to be a bit of um, a meeting place for all of us who are experiencing issues with 10.8. If you're searching uh, for Final Cut Pro 10.8 bugs on YouTube and you came across my video and you watched it and your bug is not being represented in this video, drop it down in the comments so that we can 
all talk with each other about what bugs we're facing. And then maybe Apple, if the Apple Final Cut Pro team comes across this video, they can see what we have going on, see the screen recording in a sense of it, and um, do what they need to do to get a 10.8.1 version out, or at least help us figure out what's causing this. Is it a third-party plugin? Is it an app-like command post running alongside Final Cut? what is the nature of the issue. Now, another resource that I wanna plug real quick is something called fcp.cafe. So we have fcp.cafe and there's a lot of bug trackers um, going on in here. So we'll be able to figure out as time goes on, the update was just released as of making this video yesterday, we'll be able to figure out what additional bugs there are. So definitely use that as a resource if you don't have fcp.cafe bookmarked in Safari or whatever browser you use, definitely consider doing that. As I try to switch back to Final Cut Pro, the app is still not responding, even though I'm not getting a spinning wheel. So I'll force quit it and relaunch and go from there. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I think that pretty much covers it. Again, drop your comments if you're experiencing any bugs, any issues with third-party apps, third-party software, third-party effects, that sort of thing. Let's get all that information together uh, and even think about putting it on fcp.cafe if that's helpful so that we can try to get a new update to Final Cut out as quickly as possible so 1081 can resolve some of these issues. Thanks for watching, appreciate you being here. I gotta get back to work recording another video, so until the next one, I'll see you soon. Don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli. If Final Cut Pro will let you,